Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be cleaning my whole house. I have got a lot of cleaning to get done today, so I hope you're ready for a cleaning filled video. And if you have some cleaning to do, clean alongside me. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to hang out with me today. I hope you enjoy this and get lots of cleaning motivation. I'm starting off with some laundry. I have a load here that just needs to be switched over to the dryer and then I am going to be cleaning all of the blankets. We always have blankets on our couch. We have a black lab. She sheds like crazy and we don't mind that she's on the couch but I'm trying to protect it just a little bit since it is a cream colored couch by just making sure it's covered with blankets and she can just lay on those. So all of those need to be washed because we are hosting for Thanksgiving. As you're watching this, this will be posted the day after Thanksgiving. So I hope you and your families had a great Thanksgiving together. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you did for Thanksgiving and how the day went for you. I hope it was absolutely fantastic. Do you host or do you normally go to somebody else's house? Moving into the dining room, this room is kind of a mess right now, but there's only so much that I can take care of at this very moment. I'm going to clean down the table. It definitely needed to be washed. We use this table all the time and have been having lots of family dinners here, which has been so nice. And with a two-year-old, it feels like it's just constantly dirty. So I'm gonna make sure this is nice and clean. Don't mind the table behind me that is filled with a whole bunch of tools. My husband's been fixing up things here and there around the house and he just needs to bring all those back down to the basement. He's got like a shelf where he keeps all of his tools. I have no idea what his organization system is, where to even bring them or put them back. So I'm going to just leave all those there for him. This box of things I'm just gonna stick under this table and then he did take care of putting all of this away when he got home later this day. I switched out that green tablecloth from a party that we had to a neutral one because we usually put like desserts and cookies and things on this table during Thanksgiving. Now I'm just gonna clean down the hutch here. This hutch is so cute. I absolutely love it. I refinished it myself. I used a chalk paint and then stained this tabletop. We were given this um, by a guy that my husband used to work with. He was just trying to get rid of it. So my husband was like, oh, my wife's been wanting one. So thankfully we just were given it and I refinished it and it's been great. I've been able to store lots of things in these drawers and shelves. And then the shelves, I put lots of sentimental things and the bowls and um, gravy bowl we'll use on Thanksgiving. So that works out really well too. I'm going to clean down every room, wipe down every counter, do all the dusting, then vacuum, and then mop. I just felt like on this day I needed to do this extra cleaning and just do it all by hand to make sure everything was clean and in order and ready for my family to come over for Thanksgiving. If you are in need of cleaning motivation, host people at your house. There is nothing more motivating to get your house clean than knowing guests are coming over. So whenever I know guests are coming over, I kind of go crazy and clean a little bit more than normal. My house is usually pretty clean, but of course there's little things that you don't always touch. Like I don't always dust down the baseboards, do it pretty regularly, but that's something I always make sure to do before guests come. I have been using the robot vacuum and mop combination that I have, that's been really great. It just doesn't leave that like super clean smell. I love this Swiffer Power Mop, this works so well, it's so easy to use. 
makes the job a little bit faster and I think it does a really good job of cleaning. Moving into my office slash playroom, I just have a few toys to clean up here that my son was playing with just moments before I started filming. He's been really into cars and having baskets like this to put his toys away makes cleanup so easy. This room is kind of a playroom, but it's mainly my office. Most of the time I'm here working, I do work full time from home. I wanted to show you this office chair that I just got. The one on the left is the one I just got and the one on the right that I'm pushing away is one that I've had for a long time. I got it at Marshall's. As you can see the difference, it's so much smaller. This chair is from Amazon. The company did send it to me to give them a review on it. This chair has been so nice. It's very comfortable. It fits me so well. I'll show you myself sitting in it. I'm not gonna show you my whole computer and everything uh, just because it's my work stuff. So I like to keep that private but this chair is so great. I am a very tiny person. I'm only 5'2". I don't have very long legs. Some chairs, I can't even touch the floor. This chair, my feet can be completely flat on the floor. It is pretty upright, so it's really great for my posture. The arms help the posture as well. It's been so comfortable, and I feel like I have way less back pain. That other smaller chair that I had had no arms. It was very uncomfortable, and I felt like my back hurt all the time. So it was so perfect for the company to reach out to me asking if I'd test out this chair for them. I have been loving it. I will leave a link for it in the description bar be below if you are looking for a chair as well. I'm going to dust the baseboards, vacuum and mop in here. There is a TV. You can see the cords here on this wall that we hook up an Apple TV to and then the kids, my nieces and nephews will be here and of course my son, they all usually hang out in here. They can play in here, they can watch any movies that they want to um, and most of the time in the past few years we've come in here in the afternoon and somebody's been sleeping on the beanbag chairs. Beanbag chairs right now are in the living room because my son's been loving to use them but on Thanksgiving I will move them in here so then the kids have some place to sit to relax and be able to have some downtime and just a place that they can go and hang out and not be like with all the adults it's so nice to have this extra room for them it's worked out so well every year that we've hosted Thanksgiving here so far This is one of my favorite spots in the house. This is our entryway table. I found this table on the side of the road, made my husband pull over and put it in our car. It was so much heavier than I thought it would be. This middle part actually lifts up and it's a mirror. So it's supposed to be a vanity, but when I saw it, I envisioned painting it with chalk paint in this white and it's sitting right here for our entryway table. It has been so perfect and I think it's so cute. I love decorating each season here. Not many people come through our front door. We don't even use our front door very often, but it just makes me smile every time I walk past here. So I'm gonna just clean down this area, make sure it is all dust free and ready for people to enjoy on Thanksgiving.
Moving into the kitchen, I've got lots of cleaning to do here in the kitchen as this will be one of the most used rooms of the holiday. I'm gonna start here on this wall with our coffee bar. It needs to be wiped down. This wall and floor needs to be wiped down from our dog bowls. And I'm just going to straighten up the toys every bit of my son's kitchen food is in that little target cart so i'm going to get that all put in order too i'm just going to start off with the coffee bar i'm going to just take everything off make sure it's all clean and dusted and clean off this bar cart top we got this from marshall's years ago we originally got this when we lived in our condo we've lived in this house for six years now and when we first got married we lived in a condo it was so cute and i so wish that i had been filming and posting here on youtube back then because i myself would love to go back and see those videos of me becoming a wife and learning how to be a homemaker it is not something that came natural to me i definitely had a lot to learn when i first got married and was essentially living on my own for the very first time it is a lot of work and there's a lot of things that need to be cleaned that honestly i never even knew had to be cleaned but basically everything in your house has to be cleaned right but as a young 20 year old and getting married and having my own home i had to learn all of that stuff as i went so that was definitely a journey definitely a great place for us to start and our condo was so so cute i look back on some pictures that i had from they come back like in on, if you have an iphone they come up in your memories and they'll show you like a little slideshow i recently had that happen of when i was decorating for christmas in the condo and i had taken some pictures and video so thankfully i do have that but i do wish i had been filming here on youtube and could have shared that all with you and been able to go and look back on myself too because it was such a sweet time in our lives but like I was saying, we got this coffee bar for the condo. Our kitchen was like a small galley kitchen. So there was enough space, but it was not very big. Like there wasn't as much counter space as I have now. And the coffee pot like sat on the counter and it took up so much space. We had a um, like dining room off of the galley kitchen where our dining room table was and we actually had the exact same dining room table i have now i just took out the leaves so it was circle because the room was much smaller than my dining room is now and we found this coffee bar at marshall's and i thought this would be so perfect i could use it for storage and put our coffee maker and teas and whatever else on it to get off of our counters in the condo and it did it worked out so well then we we moved into this house I just think it's so cute and I absolutely love it. So I was like, let's just use it and do the exact same thing here. And it, I think it's worked out perfectly to have it along this wall. It's still in our kitchen and it's off of our other counters. We can have more workspace to be prepping meals, cooking dinners and breakfasts and whatnot. I'm going to make sure to definitely clean down this wall extra good since our dog's food is here and she is such a messy eater. There is always little kibble bits all over the floor and the walls all always splattered. Is your dog like that or your cats? Do they eat so messy and constantly cleaning up after them? I feel like I am definitely always cleaning up after her. 
And then as I go to, there's so many windows in this house, so I'm just gonna clean the windows as I'm next to them. I didn't film every single one, I just thought that would be redundant and you would get the picture, but I do try to clean the windows every single time I do a deep cleaning like this when we are expecting guests. There is always somebody, it's usually my uncle, that comments on the windows if they're clean or not. And honestly, cleaning windows is not my favorite thing to do. It's pretty easy and I definitely love the Sprayway glass cleaner. That works so well. It makes the job so much easier and a little bit more fun since it's like a foaming cleaner. So if you have not tried it, definitely give it a try. It makes the job a lot easier than other glass cleaners that I've tried. just moving all the food back into this basket so then all the kids can see it and play with it eventually throughout the day the kids end up over here they make a store and order food somebody's the chef somebody's the one who's ordering it's really cute they do it every single time they're here so i'm just gonna make sure everything is put back in place in order for them to be able to play with when they want to this kitchen has been such a great addition to our toys during this season of life. I love having it and I especially love having it in the kitchen. My son oftentimes will come over here and play with this while we're making dinner and it works out so, so well. And this little Target cart is so cute. He got it last year for his birthday. It's one of his favorite things. He plays with this all the time and whenever other kids are over too, they play with it quite often too. So I'm just gonna make sure this whole area is nice and clean too. I always clean this area in sections like this. It just makes it a lot easier so then I don't have to move everything all at once and then move it all back for my energy level and mental capacity this just works out better for me to break it all down into bite-sized pieces do things in sections instead of like doing it all at once you could and I, I have done in the past done like all the dusting throughout the entire house then do all the vacuum vacuuming through the whole house and then mop all the floor in this house, mopping the entire wood floor all in one is a workout. It is so exhausting. The whole downstairs floor is hardwood floor. So it's just a lot. It works out so much better for me to just break it up into pieces. So if you have not tried that and you find cleaning to be so exhausting and just mentally and physically draining, try to break it up into pieces. I'm sure it will make the tasks a lot easier for yourself. Now let's get these dishes done. If you have some dishes in your sink, let's get them done together. Nothing will make you feel like you have a cleaner house than having the dishes clean and an empty, clean sink.
I'm going to wipe down this soap holder. It's actually just a plate that I found in an antique shop. I think I got it for like a dollar. And I just thought it was so cute, so pretty. It would be so just aesthetically pleasing. Looks so cute here to hold my soap. And it has worked out so well. So if you are looking for something like this, definitely go check out your local antique shop. There's probably something similar and you could probably get it for a steal. I love going to our antique stores. It's something I haven't done in quite a while and I've definitely been itching to go. They usually do have really good Christmas sales during this time of year and all the vendors at the one that we go to set up lots of Christmas decorations and have gift ideas and different things. And there's always something interesting, different and unique to find. And if you have not noticed yet, I do like antiques. Pretty much all the furniture in my house is something I've collected over time. Lots of things I've just been given or found on the side of the streets. And I just think have a lot of character. I did end up painting most of it white just cause that's my own personal style. I like everything to be light, bright and airy, calming the coastal type of feel, that's my style. My parents typically sleep over the day before Thanksgiving, which is a lot of fun. And then it also allows them to not have to travel out here as they do live like 45 to an hour away, especially with the holiday traffic, it makes it a little bit longer. And then my dad gets up super early and gets the turkey started. So I'm just gonna make sure this area is nice and clean. I have in the past done like a super deep clean of my sink. And then I wake up in the morning to find a big old turkey sitting in the sink. Oh, and that's a little painful, like my nice clean sink now has a gross, disgusting turkey. I personally do not like turkey. I, I don't know, it just is not good. It's so gross and poultry gravy, ugh, that just makes me gag. It is not something that I enjoy. So my husband usually makes a ham and that is what I eat. We definitely don't need to have a ham though. I'm usually perfectly fine with all of the sides. I absolutely love vegetables. That's typically what all the sides are. So I'd be so happy having vegetables and a roll for Thanksgiving and not have to have any meat whatsoever. That works out fine for me. But there usually is ham too, but turkey is just not something I've ever enjoyed. So I usually do pass up on that, which is kind of funny. Everybody always asks me too when they look at my plate, where is your turkey? I'm like, oh no, I can't eat turkey. That's, ugh, it's, it just grosses me out. I don't know why. Chicken is a little bit different. I do get the ick from like a whole chicken. That's not something we ever have. Like we usually only have chicken breasts and that's fine sometimes though i do have a little trouble with that too i don't know what it is poultry is just not my favorite i'm definitely a vegetable lover i think i could easily be a vegetarian i am not a vegetarian just because i don't know if i'd be able to get enough protein or be able to figure out enough meals of substance i don't know i probably could if i really tried hard enough but yeah, that's just my eating habits if you were curious. <laughs> and since it is Thanksgiving and that always reminds me of my sink. So yeah, just thought I'd share that little tidbit about myself. My stove top is in pretty good shape, just needs like the typical everyday wipe down. So I'm gonna just do that pretty quickly and then take care of the inside of the stove. That definitely needs a little bit deeper of a clean. That's not something I do 
all the time on a regular basis just here and there and it's pretty easy our oven is very easy to clean it is purple you'll see that when i open it it's supposed to even out the temperature in the oven so if you're curious on why it's purple we always get that question when people are here and they see that it's just like a heat evener i'm not exactly sure how it all works but it's a great oven and works out pretty well for us as I am doing this voiceover, I just keep staring at my hair. So if you are curious, I do typically have my hair a lot blonder than it is right now. I am just trying to find a new hairdresser. My hairdresser got married this summer and moved to, I believe, Alabama. So now I'm on the hunt for a new hairdresser. And if you are a girl, you know how hard it is to find a good hairstylist who gets what you want, understands what you're looking for. And I feel like blonde is really hard to explain and get the right, like what exactly I'm looking for. I'm not a hairdresser, so maybe I'm just explaining it incorrectly. I do have a bunch of pictures that I'm gonna show the next person once I find somebody. I did find someone, I'm just gonna message her and see what her availability is. And then hopefully before Christmas, I will be able to get my hair done because as you can see, it has grown out quite a lot. I really do go kind of a while between getting my hair done because it's just so time consuming. It takes hours to get my hair done and it just, I feel like takes up like a whole day. So it's not my favorite thing to go get done, but once it grows out like this, it just doesn't wash the same as it usually does. It just seems to be a lot more difficult. And I'm definitely getting the itch that I need to get it done just to feel a little bit more like myself. So back to cleaning the oven, I am using the pink stuff. I did spray it down, which is my normal everyday cleaner to just get that initial clean done. Now I'm just using a rougher dish brush and the pink stuff to scrub down this door. And I'll do the same thing to the inside of the oven too. As you can see right there, it was in desperate need of a cleaning and the pink stuff works so well. If you have not given that a try yet, I highly recommend it. I'm using a rag with super hot water to get up all of this pink stuff residue and make sure that it is nice and clean.
Now the inside of the oven is all clean. I'm going to just wipe down the outside. I'm using the Wyman's stainless steel cleaner. This stuff works really well. I've used it for quite a long time and I've honestly never even tried a different stainless steel cleaner. So if you have one that you think works better, leave a recommendation in the comments down below. I love trying new cleaning products. A lot of times I'm very surprised what works better than others. And I'm sure like you, you kind of just get stuck on the same product. If it works, why not? Why change it, right? But I'm just going to clean this down and then I don't know if you can tell in this clip, I don't think so, but there is a huge drip in the middle of the glass. I somehow have to take the glass off and like clean inside. Somehow something got in between the glass and dripped. I have no idea how to do that. So I guess I gotta do some research and figure that out to be able to clean it because it drives me absolutely crazy every time I clean the oven. And while I have this cleaning product out, I'm going to just quickly clean all of the other stainless steel appliances in my kitchen and get that all done so everything is in good shape for Thanksgiving. And just like the wall of this room, I break it into the three sections, each item that's on that wall. I break my kitchen up into two sections. I always do the vacuuming and mopping of this main galley part. And then our kitchen island is off here to my left. I will clean that down and then clean the floor around it in a whole nother section. This just saves me so much energy and works so much better. Oh, as I was in this clip, I ran out of cleaner, so I'm just gonna quickly get a new cleaner so we can get this floor nice and clean. It was absolutely disgusting. I should have given you a close-up of how much stains and drip spots and shoe marks were on this floor. It needed a good scrubbing. I cleaned it for quite a while, and I still feel like I could clean it another time. Now for the kitchen island, my son decided to play with these hydrangeas, so I've definitely gotta get this cleaned up first. I'm going to just scoop it all into my hand, throw it at the bottom of this basket, and then jump it all outside on top of our old dried up hydrangeas. And then I will thoroughly wipe down this counter and get it nice and clean.
I'm going to wipe down the sides of the kitchen island. This is not something I do very often, but I always try my hardest to remember because especially with a two-year-old son, he loves being at this island and sticky fingers and drips and spills are always on here. So whenever I do remember to wipe it down, it's always so gross. This island is so strange because they didn't put outlets on either side. And I would have thought that would have been like a typical thing they would do, especially since our microwave is on the front side of this. There's already electric here in the island. So that's just a weird thing that didn't get done in this house, that there's no outlets on the ends of the island. Maybe one day we can get that put in since the electrical is already here. I would think that'd be pretty easy to do. So then we'd be able to charge our phones here, um, our laptops, and put crockpots here during events. That would be super nice too, because a lot of times we do use this island as like the food bar and put all the food here. So just a weird thing that we've always noticed as soon as we moved in here that they did not do. I kind of wish I had mentioned it to the realtor when we looked at this house, because they did mention a few things to her that I found to be a little odd and they ended up making those changes before we moved in. So that's one thing I definitely wish I had noticed, but when we had looked at the house, I did, that didn't even cross my mind. So if you are looking at a house and you have an island, double check to see if there's outlets because they would definitely be handy. Now moving into the living room, I'm going to clean down these slider doors and this is when my glass cleaners started to run low. So I did add it to the list. My husband said he was going to be going to the store the day before Thanksgiving and I was able to finish some more windows after that before our guests arrived. But this sliding glass door is constantly touched with a dog and a two year old. And I'm really, I was hopeful that it was not going to rain on Thanksgiving, which it did but I was hopeful that the kids would be able to go outside and play and get out their energy because my nieces and nephews are all very close in age. They're all between eight and six and they just go crazy when they're together. I think that's typical for kids because I grew up with cousins that were all close in age too and I know we all did the same thing. So to be able to sh put them outside for a little bit and let them run around and get out some energy is always a helpful thing to do, especially now that we have a little bit more things to do outside with the play set and everything just makes it a little bit more fun and helps them to get out their energy to be a little bit more calm because inter voices i'm totally getting now that i'm adults with little kids around i always remember as a kid being told that that we needed our, to use our indoor voices <laughs> so that's just something that happens on holidays every every single time that all those nieces and nephews are together it's fun but can be a little bit crazy our dog her name is Millie if you are new here she absolutely hates this vacuum and does attack it every time I use it she's not phased at all by the robot vacuum that's never bothered her one bit but this one for some reason she just cannot stand if I left the volume on you'd hear her growling at it she makes the craziest noises that she never makes besides <laughs> at this vacuum but I will spare you and just leave it with music and my little voice over here just going to quickly get this room all vacuumed and also mop the hardwood.
Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to hang out with me today. I hope you were able to get some cleaning done along with me, or if you just like to hang out, drink some coffee or your favorite beverage and watch my whole videos, I hope this gave you lots of motivation to get the cleaning done after you're done watching. I know for me, if I'm lacking motivation, I oftentimes put on a YouTube cleaning video to build up the motivation and then I feel so ready to go and can get my cleaning done so much easier and faster and a little less stressed. I hope you got lots of motivation and leave here feeling like you've just been hanging out with a friend. If you have not yet, please consider subscribing. I post new videos every Tuesday and Friday.